<clears throat> Happy Wednesday evening. It's actually Tuesday night here, and I know you are working on your preposition homework, and so since I'm doing tomorrow's lesson, I'm thinking about adjective and adverb phrases, which is how we're going to take prepositions and go one step further. If you can see, I threw my face in the corner of it just to add a little bit of a difference to the video. I'll take it off in just a minute. Oh, wait, no, it's hiding right now. Let me show you what it looks like. There, all of a sudden, my face is there in the corner of the window. Um, so it's like I'm watching you do your work, so make sure you do it correctly, right? I'll hide it in a few minutes. Something to ponder during this lesson? What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, and never in a thousand years? Keep watching, and I'll tell you at the end of the presentation. It's your brain, brain, <laughs> brain strength builders. All right, so you are going to be making a three flap horizontal foldable with the holes across the bottom. You're going to cut three flaps into it. I strongly suggest that you cut off the uh, red up, red and above up because if you don't, it will not fit in your composition book. You'll have sticky outies and I will be crabby. So get this ready, pause until it's ready, and then you can hit play and we'll continue on with the lesson. All right, so I thought I'd hide my face for now. So we're, we're learning about prepositions, and you know that you have to memorize the prepositions. So I'm not going to sing them for you. I'm not going to play them for you again. But here they are. Know them. Be familiar with them. Know how to use them. All right, so the first thing I need you to do is open that first flap that said adjective phrases. Um, adjective phrases are phrases that modify a noun or a pronoun, just like adjectives modify a noun or a pronoun. It can answer the questions, which one, what kind, or how many. Really, the, the easiest way to find an adverb, adjective phrase, excuse me, is to figure out what word it modifies. So, for example, we have the puppy in the shop window jumped up. Well, if you look, we have to identify the prepositional phrase, which is in the shop window. Well, what does that modify? It modifies this cute little puppy here. Which puppy is it? It's the one in the shop window. Therefore, it is an adjective phrase. Pretty easy, right? Here's a helpful hint. An adjective phrase is almost always next to the noun it modifies. Actually, it's always next to the noun it modifies. So look close to the phrase first and see if it modifies the word before or after it. If it doesn't, then it's almost always an adverb phrase. Just a helpful hint. For example, the boy with the blonde hair sat in the orchestra. With the blonde hair, is right next to boy, and it does modify boy. It tells us which one. See? That makes it an adjective phrase. Now, well, we'll go into that in just a minute. The boy shot the ball through the hoop. It's an adverb phrase because through the hoop is your prepositional phrase. Hopefully you identified that. The ball doesn't go through the hoop all by itself. It can't. The ball has to be shot through the hoop. So through the hoop modifies shot. There you go. Since shot is a verb, that's an adverb phrase. So let me actually teach you what an adverb phrase is now. Now, By the way, you should have written, uh-oh, i got to go all the way back, that example in the bottom half of your foldable. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that, so pause it and do that. All right, sorry about that. We'll go through all this again. All right, so now close your adjective flap and open your adverb flap. And let's talk about adverb prepositional phrases. They, and you have to write this underlined part, modifies a verb, an adjective, or an adverb, just like all adverbs do. It answers the question where, when, or how. Don't rely on the questions. Rely on figuring out what word it modifies. It's much easier to do it that way. For example, the puppy jumped to the food. we got to think about it. To the food, hmm, that doesn't modify puppy, but it does modify where it jumped. Since it modifies jumped, that makes it an adverb phrase. So take a minute and write this example down in your, um, under the bottom half of the flap. Freight. Here are the steps. So open your, close your adverb flap and now open your last flap. And these are the three steps you have to write down and try to fit them on the top because you're going to put two examples on the bottom. Number one, you have to identify the prepositional phrase. Hopefully after last night's homework, you did a great job at it, you, you understand it, you can find prepositional phrases. Number two, you have to identify the word the phrase describes. This is tough. you got to think. you got to use your brain. There's no easy trick or anything. you just got to really figure out which word it modifies. Sometimes you do it one word at a time. I know you guys don't like to do that, but I promise you it works. 
Then you look at the type of word it is. If it's a noun or a pronoun, you have an adjective phrase. If it's modifying a verb, an adjective, or an adverb, you have an adverb phrase. Straightforward. Not that hard to figure out. An example. So these should be written, these three steps should be written at the top of your flap. And then this is your first example. The color of Mars is red. Of Mars is our prepositional phrase. It modifies color. Color is a noun. Therefore, of Mars is an adjective phrase. Then we've got Venus can be seen near the horizon. All right, near the horizon, the prepositional phrase describes where Venus can be seen. Since that's a verb phrase, near the horizon is an adverb clause. Now, is that Mars or is that Venus? What do you think? There it goes. All right, this is what your final foldable flap should look like. If your flaps don't look like this, please fix it. And then you're going to use the steps on this side, identify prepositional phrase, identify the word the phrase describes, and what type of word is it, to work through these examples. Each of these sentences has a prep phrase in it. I want you to find the prep phrase and figure out what word it modifies. Number one, horseshoe crabs resemble hard hats with long tails. Number two, whales behave with great intelligence. Number three, a whale must breathe air through its lungs. And number four, the, how, the mouth of a horseshoe crab is well hidden. Pause if you need to and find the, um, you don't have to write anything down. Just think, think it through. What are the prepositional phrases and what do they modify? Okay, well hopefully you've thought it through and let's see how you did. Horseshoe crabs resemble hard hats with long tails. With long tails is your prep phrase. It modifies hats and makes it an adjective phrase. Whales behave with great intelligence. With great intelligence describes how whales behave, so it describes the behavior. Behave is an adverb, so it is an adverb phrase. A whale must breathe through its lungs. Through its lungs describes where it must breathe, or must breathe air through its lungs. Well, air can't go through the lungs unless it's being breathed, breathing, breathed. So uh, must breathe through its lungs describes must breathe, which is a verb phrase, which makes this an adverb prepositional phrase. The mouth of the horseshoe crab is well hidden. Hmm. Of the horseshoe crab describes which, whose mouth it is. Mouth is a noun, therefore it is an adjective phrase. Oops. So I hope you did well. We'll practice a lot of these tomorrow in class. So what occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, and never in a thousand years? Look, I can see you again. I'm not telling. I'll tell you tomorrow. If you have a good guess, put it on Edmodo. Have a great night.